In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can import data into Jamovi, code it, and label it there. So stay tuned till the end of the video. The first step is to open Jamovi. Uh, you will find the three dots or lines like this. You click on them. And then you go to open. Once you go here, you will find desktop, all files, motivation, and grid, depending on the folders that you have in desktop and the date. So I want to uh, open this one or import this one since it's my on my desktop. If I don't find it here, I go to browse and I will just browse the folders. So I will just click here. And it says the data is being imported. You see the demographics, marital status, on your laptop, the frequency, etc. So uh, I need to convert these uh, labels, uh, these values into numbers like this so that I can process them statistically. To do this, I will need to double click, for example, here or the variable that I want to code, or then I will just go to uh, this uh, place. As you can see, you can find no and yes. I can simply replace no by zero and yes by one and automatically they will be replaced. If I want to keep these, I need to uh, go to transform and then I can transform this with a new code. So I will repeat fast. So I go to the variable I want to code. I will double click on it. I will have this uh, window open. Then I go to data here and transform. And then I will use uh, another transform. So here the, the name of the variable, new variable is created. So I will click create new transform. And then I will uh, add recode condition and here so if if the source i will click double equal uh, sign or signs then double quotation marks and i need to uh, type the exact uh, uh, let's say value uh, here so if it's now like this in uppercase i need to create to just type it like that so now it's going to be uh, coded as zero and then i click uh, since it is binary or else we will have uh, the code of one so this is the transform otherwise i will create an, another recode condition and i will uh, apply it here so add another recode condition and i will apply it here if for example this equals yes and or uh, close the double quotation mark so we will use one or else I will just keep it empty like this and I will call this yes no transformation yes uh, no uh, code or transformation that's it so you see here that the variable has been coded as one meaning yes and zero meaning no so I can just go back to the data and then i can uh, label uh, this for example one it will mean yes and and zero will mean no so to do this uh, there is uh, another way we can do it but i need to uh, complete the transformation for all the variables till i make them numbers like these so that i can run the uh, appropriate statistical tests by the way the yes no uh, code that we have created here we can apply to other similar items on the survey data till we finish everything suppose that you have a liquid scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree one to five you can keep doing that just go into this one and you keep applying that code here and you can create no transform if you have other scenarios but you will just do the same so that you can save time for for that so this is in brief how we can use transform to code the data fast all right so there is another way we can uh, code this variable 
as yes, one, and no, zero. So we simply double click on it. So we can recode it and we can label it at the same time. So you just go over the no, you type zero and click enter. And you see the no becomes here and you go to the yes and type one and click enter and you see the label is added here so that if i run a test on this one i can simply uh, uh, find the labels showing on the uh, graphs instead of the numbers i don't want zero and one to appear on the graph but i want no and yes to appear instead so here i can also change the data type here from text to integer uh, or from text to decimal okay but what happens is that the data disappears so i need to go back all right so i need to go back to c uh, because i changed this the transform uh, function relinked to it has also been edited so i need to change this from um, text to integer without losing the data here so if I check uh, integer, the data is lost. So I go back. If I t choose decimal, the data is lost. So how can we solve this issue? So stay tuned for the other part so that I will show you how you can solve the issue of labeling the variables and losing the data.